Hi, my name's Pete from DanceMidiSamples.com and today I'm going to talk you through creating a multi-sampled EXS24 instrument in Apple Logic. A multi-sampled instrument by definition is just a sample instrument that uses more than one sample to create a more natural feel when notes are stretched up and down a key range. So rather than just taking a single note and stretching it up and down an entire key range, we're going to use several or more notes to create a much more natural feel to our final sampled instrument. One of the main uses for multi-sampling is to capture the sound of, say, a hardware synth in a playable format. So today we're going to create a multi-sample from my Axis Virus Power Core, and we're going to turn that into a playable EXS24 instrument in Logic. Here we are in Logic, and I already have a riff playing with my Virus Power Core. We're going to start to create our multi-sampled instrument by sampling for some notes from the key range of our chosen preset. In this case, it's this plucked lead. I'm going to use the keys C and G in every octave for the basis of my multi-sample. Now, this works really well for me, but you can make this as complex as you like. In fact, some commercial sample libraries for, say, instruments like concert pianos are going to sample every single note. But you can see that I've just got C and G up the key range of my instruments. At this stage, before we sample our entire key range, it's a good idea to mute any effects that we have on the channel. Um, you see I've got a reverb here and on your instrument too, as you're going to probably prefer to apply these at the mixing stage in your final composition. So I've got a delay sent here on the virus, so I'm going to turn that off too. You might also find it useful to change the amp envelope settings on your target instrument to low settings. Is that again, these are controls that you're probably going to want to adjust in your finished instrument. I usually set the attack time and release to nearly zero on my target instrument, and then I'll add these in my sample instrument. So I'm just going to check my envelopes here. My attack and release are very low, so that's going to create a, the shortest possible note, and we can add attack and release later on. Once you've created a MIDI region featuring C and G notes up the entire key range like we have here, the next step is to take a bounce or audio render of the region, depending on what sequence you're using. Once this file's been created, the next step is to extract every single note from the file. My preferred method for slicing these files out is Propellerhead's Recycle, as it's very fast at tasks like this. However, you can use pretty much any audio editor out there for this task. You'll see here in Recycle that we have our entire file. What I'm going to do is increase the sensitivity so each distinct slice is marked. And now what we can do is export each slice very quickly. Once we've exported each slice, we need to tell the EXS24 how to map out these samples up the key range. And the way we do this is by naming each sample with its key note. As you'll see here, we've got each slice exported from Recycle, and what I'm going to do is name each distinct slice with its key note. So, C1, G1, C2, G2, etc., all the way up the key range. At this point, you could also apply some sample looping, but that's a little bit beyond the scope of this tutorial, so we're not going to cover that today. Once we've done this, we can import the samples into the XS24. So let's swap back to Logic and open up a blank instance of the XS24. And we're going to hit the Edit button and then Zone Load Multi Samples. We're then going to navigate to where we've saved each slice 
and I'm going to press add all and then done from the bottom right corner. This is going to bring up a dialog box with three options and we're going to choose auto map. If we press OK, you'll see that the XS automatically imports our slices and maps them up the key range itself. At this stage we have a very rough playable instrument. So what we should do now is turn this into a more playable useful instrument. So I'm going to apply some release. And we originally had a pluck lead, so I'm going to alter the envelope settings to create that plucked sound. So what I'm going to do is assign the filter cutoff to envelope 1, add some decay, turn it up. And as we turn down the filter, you'll see that the, the decay of the amp is also affected. Now we've created the filter envelope settings, let's see what that sounds like with our original riff. That sounds pretty close to the original synth, so we'll leave that as is. It's now possible to export the XS24 preset for use in other formats. Ableton Live Sampler will import the XS instruments directly, as can Native Instruments Contact. Uh, you could also use Chicken Systems Translator to convert the instrument to pretty much any other sampler format too, including some hardware samplers. So there you go, there's how to create a very quick and easy multi-sample in Logic. If you have any questions, please drop us an email at info at dancemidisamples.com or just send us a message here on YouTube.